Okay, pause for a second and think about this. What if intelligence wasn't just something in your brains or in our computers? What if intelligence could grow, evolve, even heal? Not just in machines, not just in biology, but something new, something alive. Today, we are diving into one of the craziest and most exciting ideas I've ever come across, living intelligence. Yeah, that's a real thing. It's the collision point between AI, biotechnology and sensors. And trust me, this goes beyond smartwatches and brain chips. This is about neural networks grown in dishes, bio robots made from frog cells, and machines that literally learn how to feel. Sounds like science fiction? Well, it's already happening. So buckle in because this rabbit hole goes deep. All right, so let's define this in plain English. Living intelligence is what happens when three powerful technologies collide. AI, which we all know, right, is the brainy part. Biotech, the life part, DNA, cells, genes, tissues, and then sensors, the feelers, they are the eyes, ears, and touch for everything. And when you put all of these three together, it's boom. You don't just get smarter tech. You get something that can learn, adapt, and evolve, just like life. Think about a brain-computer interface that doesn't just read your thoughts, but actually understands your biology at the cellular level or bacteria programmed with AI to sniff out cancer or clean pollution, all on their own. That's the level we are talking about. Let's break this down, starting with how AI is literally merging with living cells. There's a company called Cortical Labs, which is based out of Australia. They literally grew neurons in a Petri dish and trained them to play Pong. I'm not kidding, I just read it. They've called it dish brain and learned like a living brain because, well, it was. Now imagine training these biological brains to detect cancer or control a robotic arm or fly a drone. Then we have got synthetic biology teaming up with AI. CRISPR used to be a big deal on its own. Now AI is helping us predict with genes to edit and how. If you remember AlphaFold, the deep mind breakthrough that solved the protein folding problem. Yeah, that's AI decoding life's building blocks, literally biology, and it's only getting faster. All right, so AI is getting smarter. Biotech is getting programmable. But here's the real kicker. Sensors are getting alive. Let me explain. Old school sensors just collect data, temperature, pressure, heart rate, whatever. New sensors, biohybrid ones, actually respond, feel, and even communicate. There's an electronic skin now, soft, stretchable, and it gives real-time feedback. You touch it and it reacts. Even plants are getting in on it. MIT literally turned spinach into chemical sensors. When they detect pollutants, they send emails. Yeah, cyber spinach. We are creating systems where nature itself becomes aware. Now, let's check out the wild things. Smart prosthetics like the ones from MIT are now learning to adapt in real time. They're embedded with sensors in the muscle and they learn how you move. So instead of you learning the prosthetic, it learns you. Then there are xenobots. These are actual living robots made from frog cells and designed by AI. They move, heal, and even walk together. No metal, no wires. This is brand new life made with AI. Feels like we just opened Pandora's box, but also a whole new universe. Okay, so where does all this go? Let me paint you a few mind-blowing use cases. Number one, precision medicine. You're wearing a smart patch. It tracks your blood glucose, hydration, 
stress levels. It's feeding that data to an AI, which then predicts when you are about to get sick. Before symptoms, before tests, it even recommends gene therapies personalized to your DNA. Number two, environmental intelligence. Imagine bacteria that glow when they detect toxins or drones that use leaf-inspired sensors to smell pollution in the air. This isn't just monitoring, this is nature fighting back with tech's help. Number three, sentient buildings. Smart buildings that feel your mood via biosensors and adjusts lighting, sound and even scent to calm you down. We are literally teaching our environments to care for us. Now let's look at the tough questions. When machines become living, what rights do they have? Let's say if we grow a bio AI that can feel pain or learn emotions, do we own it or does it own itself? What happens if these systems self-replicate? We are not just coding anymore, we are creating life. And let's be honest, we don't fully understand what we are making. Are we gods or just clever apes with dangerous toys? These are questions we have to ask now, not later. But here is the hopeful side. Imagine a world where your wearable AI doesn't just track steps, it coaches your mental health where your kitchen sensors know your microbiome and tweaks your food accordingly. Where AI learns not just from data, but from DNA, hormones, even gut feelings. This is where it's heading. Mind mesh, full body systems that connect your biology to an intelligent network. Bio AI ecosystems where people, sensors, machines, and cells all co-learn and evolve together. So yeah, living intelligence is in science fiction. It's here, it's learning, it's growing. It's becoming part of us. And honestly, it might be the most important shift in human history. So let me ask you, would you trust an AI that lives inside your body? Would you welcome a synthetic life that thinks feels and grows or is that a line we shouldn't cross drop your thoughts in the comments if this blew your mind even a little like subscribe share this with someone who is ready to think beyond the binary thank you